Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 65. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, Business 210, Chapter 5. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 5 website. Hey, uh, one last uh, distribution, uh, the Poisson probability distribution. This can be used to estimate the number of occurrences over a specified interval of time or space, like in the next hour, how many calls are going to come into a call center? Properties of a Poisson experiment. The probability of an occurrence is the same for any two intervals of equal length. So if we have 48 calls coming in one hour to a call center, 48 calls, uh, the mean will be 48 calls for the next interval. Uh, the second property is the occurrence or non-occurrence in any interval is independent of the occurrence or non-occurrence in any other interval. Now, there's no upper limit for x, but usually an another example is a number of cars coming into a car wash over a 15-minute period. Obviously, we can have zero cars, one, two, three. There's no upper limit, but at as the x gets bigger, the probability gets really small. So the probability for, you know, three, four, five cars coming into a uh, car wash under any five, 15 minute period or an hour or whatever the interval is, is much more likely than 100, right? So even though these are, there's no upper limit, there really is because the probability gets so small. Also, the mean equals the variance for uh, Poisson probability distribution. We are going to use the Excel function Poisson. It just needs an x, a mean, and then you what say 0 for exact. You're going to get exactly five cars into a car wash. Or cumulative, two or fewer cars over the next 15 minutes. Poisson. Now, what's one thing that's very nice is all you really need is the, the mean and then your x, and you can calculate this. Hey, here's our example x is going to be equal to the number of web visitors to your cool website. Seven per minute is the average from past data. So x, number of web visitors arriving at a, arrive at a rate of seven per minute at your cool website. Now, we got to check our two assumptions. Assumption one, probability is the same for any one minute interval. We'll assume that it is. And assumption number two, the arrival or non-arrival of a web visitor in a one minute period is independent of the arrival or non-arrival of any other one minute period. All right. Um, whoa, I have the answers. Now, before we uh, do any probabilities, let's go ahead and uh, calculate uh, all of them, just like we did in earlier chapters. We'll have a column for x, a column uh, for f of x or p of x, our probability using the Poisson function, and then we'll see what it looks like. Uh, the function is equals p o Poisson. Uh, I said p o because it, once you use it a lot, you know how f what minimum number of letters to type in. I can hit p o and then tab, and and the Excel 2007 automatically uh, puts it in for you. Now, we need our x, our mean, and the cumulative. The R, it's going to be 0 here, because we want to do an exact for each one of these. Our x is going to be right there, comma, and our mean is way up here. It's 7 calls per 1 minute. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it, comma, 0. The 0 and 1 work the same way as we seen for the binome uh, dist function. All right, uh, and then I'm going to copy it down, to double click. Now look, I only put 30 in here, right? Because it gets so small when uh, uh, it gets in the upper values, you could actually keep pulling that down and it would, the probability would just get smaller and smaller. But there it is, and it's always going to be um, have some positive skew because there'll be a few big values with a very, very low frequency. So uh, that's what the distribution looks like for this particular problem. All right, let's go do some calculating. Uh, the first one is, I want to calculate the probability of zero calls per one minute. Now, uh, we already have our mean. Our interval was one minute, so I'm just going to put my 7 here. And then 
0 is our x, so that I put a 0 right there. So we can go ahead and calculate. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it the long way first. Here's our little, um, all right, we're going to go ahead and do it the long way first, just to show you how to do, do it and get that e. We're going to start off equals open parentheses. We need our mu, that's our 7, shift 6 for caret, caret our x and then times, and how do you get e? e is exponent function. Exponent function is get an exponent base e. So if you put a 1 in here, it'll give you the number e. All right, so exponent 1, and you can even highlight this. And if I hit my F9 key to evaluate, you can see there it is. That's that magic number e, Control-Z. And now I want a caret and minus, it has a minus uh, exponent, and we'll get our mu, which is 7. Now, the negation symbol is a unitary operator in Excel that will automatically always be calculated first before any of the other operators. Now, we need to close parentheses on this because we have a, a fraction bar here. And then we do our divide and factorial x. We know how to do that. There's a fact function, which does factorial. So we'll do our factorial of our x, our 0, close parentheses, and enter. So there is our probability. And of course, it is very small, probability of 0 calls in 1 minute. Now, uh, let's just do it the easy way, the Poisson function. We need our x, comma, our mu, comma, and our 0. And there it is, very low probability of getting zero calls, or zero, not calls, that should, that should be visits right there, calls per one minute at your website. No, no, visits. So zero visits in one minute, very low. Now, let's do a different one. Uh, how about two or more? Now, remember, two or more, if we were looking down at our chart here, right? Two or more would be this all the way up there. So if we're going to get all the, th the probabilities on the upper end, we have to say uh, Poisson function. And we can't put in the 2 We have to because it's included on the upper end. So we have to put in 1. Then the function Poisson will calculate all the low end from the minus, uh, from the, the low end all the way to the x you put in. And then we'll say 1 minus that to get all the er area up there and all the probability up there equals 1 minus, whoops, equals 1 minus, and we'll do our Poisson function, our x. Now, I have my 2 here, and I want to leave it there. So I'm going to put 2 minus 1 to get to my uh, the number right below. Comma, the mean is going to be 7. And now we want 1 for cumulative, close parentheses, enter. And so that's the probability that we will get two or more in one minute. So if we're getting zero hits uh, in one minute, and this is the probability, right, we're going to check into it, because that means there's some problem, very improbable that no one would be w visiting our cool website. Uh, now, how about this one? We want x um, probability of one or more visits in 30 seconds. Now, now wait a second. We have per minute, but, but no problem. We can calculate our mean, right? If 7 visits are in 1 minute, how many are in 0.5 minutes? So equals 7 divided by 2, or in this case, we'll just multiply times uh, a half there. That becomes our mean, and we simply do our Poisson function. And this is 1 or, one or more. So 1 or more, we'll say equals 1 minus. Now think about this. This is 1 or more. The only number below 1 is 0. So we don't even have to do cumulative. We'll use our complement rule, right? 1 minus Poisson will say x is that minus 1 to get us to 0, comma, the mean is going to be our 3.5. And then cumulative, we can put 0 because there is only 1. Actually, in this case, <laughs> 1 or 0 would give you the same answer here, because there is only one probability associated with that 0. And then you hit Enter. That's the probability of getting 1 or more in 30 seconds. Now, how about 5 or more in 1 minute? This is, again, on the upper end. So we have to go equals 1 minus. I did it again. <laughs> 1 minus. 
Poisson are x. Now, 5 or more. Oh, 5 is included, right? So the Poisson is going to do everything from the low to whatever the x is. So we have to put a 4 in here. So I'm going to say 5 minus 1, comma. And then the mean is going to be our 7, comma. The cumulative will be 1, because we want to, right now we're getting everything up to 4. And we're going to subtract it uh, from 1. Close parentheses and then Enter. And that's our probability that five or more hits. We'll get five or more hits in one minute. All right, um, that's a little bit about the uh, Poisson. Uh, that's it for chapter five. We'll see you next chapter for continuous probability distribution. See you then.